I don't know. Am I going to need my glasses or not? That's the question. Nadia Sirovsky is a force. I know this because Nadia is my friend and also because I've worked with her in many capacities. Like all designers, I have used Sarovsky crystals on my dresses. I thought I should wear them. I even collaborated with Sarovsky when we built our headquarters and created this huge staircase that we'd call a stair de lier that I enjoy every day. Nadia is also being the godmother of the CFDA award for more than 10 years. And as the president of the CFDA, I know firsthand that Sorovsky's generous sponsor has been invaluable to the industry. As a member of the Sorovsky Executive Board and global pa patron of design for the company, Nadia is a connector. She effortlessly orbits the world of fashion, jewelry, architecture, film, and art keeping the company founded in 1895 by her great-grandfather, Daniel Sarovsky, on the forefront of design and consumer trends. Nadia is a visionary. Early in her career, she be befriended fashion icon Isabella Blow, and together set out to re-establish Sarovsky's legacy of collaborating with the leading couturier of Paris. Blow introduced her to young design talents who became longtime Sarovsky collaborators, such as Alexander McQueen and Philip Tracy. Nadia has since implemented a series of groundbreaking initiatives, including the Sarovsky Collective conceived in 1999, Runway Rocks in 2003, Atelier Sarovsky in 2007, all of which reinforce Sorovsky's commitment to support and celebrate both established and emerging designers. In 2002, Nadia developed Sorovsky Crystal Palace, an extraordinary design project featuring creative collaboration with some of the most exciting minds of the 21st century. Ron Arad, Zahas Hadid, Tom, Sicken, Tom Dixon, and Yves Behar, to name just a few. Nadia is also chairwoman of Sorovsky Entertainment, a division that reinvigorated the collaboration with the movie industry. They collaborated in movies like Young Victoria, Black Swan, and Skyfall. The division's first feature film, Romeo and Juliet, will appear, it will be released in the fall of 2013. That's now. Nadia has also set her sight on the music industry. She has worked with Beyonce, Madonna, and Lady Gaga. All of this, and Nadia still finds time to give. Since 2002, she has overseen Sorovsky global corporate responsibility effort. She has a great commitment to philanthropy. She launched the Sarovsky Foundation in 2013. Nadia is a force. Nadia is a leader. She is a visionary and an inspiration. And she is our friend. Now she is also the recipient of the Fashion Group International First Brand Vision Award. Please help me to welcome her. to be here tonight and I want to say Dion thank you so much for your kind words I'm so honored to receive this award from you as you are one of the greatest brand visionaries in the world of fashion your warmth creativity and passion are an inspiration to me and so many of us in the fashion industry and Margaret thank you to be recognized by the fashion group international is a great honor to me, it's also a reflection of the tremendous partnerships that I and Swarovski have been privileged to have with so many of you who are here tonight. 
Swarovski Crystal and Fashion have enjoyed a long and meaningful relationship. Throughout the years, our crystals have been a creative ingredient with the, within the works of iconic designers as Coco Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, Christian Dior, and Alexander McQueen, just to name a few. Since joining my family's business in 1995, I've had the privilege to build upon its history by working with established as well as with emerging designers. And it's been an inspiration to watch these incredibly talented individuals push the creative boundaries of crystal in the most innovative ways. Having started my career in New York City, I've had the opportunity to be exposed to many visionaries in the industry, many of whom have become my role models. They've led with a positive example, never taking no for an answer and finding the courage to follow their dreams. Living up to them and to this motto every day, I've been fortunate to watch the brand that my great-great-grandfather built expand from jewelry and fashion into exciting new areas such as art, architecture, design, as well as stage and screen. In closing, I would like to congratulate my fellow FGI award winners. I'm sure that you have all had your fair share of no's and had days when your dreams seemed out of reach. So tonight is a testimony to your hard work and to your success. Let's celebrate this and continue to reach for the stars. Thank you.